Welcome to the Teach Me Lit podcast. I'm Sophie Tuvey and I love talking about books and helping you to revise for English literature and go deeper in the texts you're studying. Today we're looking at the character of Scrooge in Dickens' A Christmas Carol. So the big question I'm going to answer today is, what's wrong with Scrooge? In the first stave, we meet the character of Ebenezer Scrooge, and you could be forgiven for thinking, what is actually wrong with him? As in, he isn't a a criminal, he isn't someone who's doing uh, masses of things wrong in his life. Or is he? So the whole point of the first stave is that Dickens is setting up the story, and it's going to be a story of transformation. And essentially, right at the start of the story, the things that Dickens chooses to emphasise about Scrooge are his cold heartedness. And this is really going to be the crucial thing that Scrooge has to change. Now, in a series of encounters with different characters, uh, Dickens makes it clear what he says right at the beginning, that Scrooge has been alone for so long that he's forgotten how to feel any emotion. He's described as a tight-fisted hand at the grindstone, a squeezing, wrenching, grasping, scraping, clutching, covetous old sinner. The language Dickens uses is religious language um, based on the Christian culture of the time. The idea of Scrooge being covetous means that he likes to hold on to his money. And that's a key problem for Dickens because at the time when he was writing, there were so many problems with poverty that for Scrooge to keep all of his money to himself and fail to help others around him was seen as a sin, as something sinful, something wrong to be doing. So having established that he is a covetous old sinner, we then see that in practice because in stave one, Scrooge meets a number of people who ask him for money and they are refused. So we've got a carol singer, we've got charity workers, Um, His nephew asks him to come for Christmas dinner, so he doesn't ask him for money, but Scrooge refuses that as well. And then Scrooge begrudges his poor clerk, Bob Cratchit, even a day off for Christmas Day, saying it's a poor excuse for picking a man's pocket. So in other words, Scrooge actually accuses Bob of trying to steal money from him by having a paid day off for Christmas Day, you know, something we would see as a real basic thing. So what's wrong with Scrooge then? He Is it just about money? Well, perhaps it's a little bit more than that because we actually see later in the story as the ghost of Christmas past unravels the things that happened in Scrooge's past. It does seem that it is about money, but it also isn't about money. Um, Scrooge's money obviously gives him a sense of security that he has never found anywhere else. He has never found security in a stable family life. And that means that basically he uses his money as his safety net. Uh, His experiences he went through as a child, he was in a boarding school that was quite poor, run down. There wasn't enough food. Um, He was estranged from his father and his mother had died and he didn't see his sister very often either. Um, these things he never wanted to go through those things again and his money is his way of trying to secure that but fundamentally Scrooge has missed the point Dickens wants to show us Um, he's missed the point of life if basically all he does is collect money to hoard it and what Dickens shows us is that Scrooge is really missing out on all the joy that can be found through relationships love and generosity. Um, And that's obviously what's happening later in the story as he reflects on his first boss, Fezziwig, who delights in being generous and spending money on a Christmas party to celebrate with his employees. Um, And even in the poor family of the Cratchits, Scrooge sees something which he himself lacks, despite his money. Now, at the time this was written, in Victorian society, uh, money and wealth were valued extremely highly. It was a capitalist society. And I think Dickens is starting to question that through the presentation of Scrooge. Yes, by worldly standards, Scrooge has made it. He's got his uh, job, he's got his savings in the bank, but essentially he has missed the point because his life is joyless and he has no meaningful relationships. 
So what's wrong with Scrooge? He needs to start caring about other people. He needs to stop being selfish and he needs to open up his heart again and love others if he's going to make the most of his life. Now, his former partner, Jacob Marley's ghost, comes to visit him to give him a big shock and shake him up. Uh, wake him up out of his sort of stupor and show him that if he doesn't change the consequences will be severe and in line with the Christian beliefs of the time uh, the ghost of Marley suggests that Scrooge will be punished in the afterlife if he doesn't change. If you've enjoyed this podcast and found it helpful please hit subscribe and share it with a friend. You can find me on Instagram and Twitter just search for Teach Me Lit I'm always open to requests, so if you want me to talk about a text you're studying, get in touch. Thank you for listening. See you next time on the Teach Me Lit podcast.